trousers and my mouth From my girl to my gun and my freedom Bonjour, je suis Jérôme Austin, chef de produit sur Label Games chez Electronic Arts. Ce lancement fait sens à Paris. On est accueilli au Loop, dans Saint-Germain-des-Prés, avec un spectacle de French Cancan, des restants traînent dans le bar, des danseuses euh, essayent d'aguicher nos journalistes et tout le monde a été touché par le jeu. Tout le monde est là à Paris ce soir pour sa beauté. First in this game, it's really about Sean as an origin story of a race car driver becoming a saboteur. The idea doesn't seem believable actually just on paper, but it is inspired actually by a real life person. We felt like our character should be relatable. We felt like he should be a, a guy who's kind of coming up through the ranks, a guy who's worked honestly as a mechanic. He has his flaws, um, you know, we want him to, to be human, um, and so he's got his good sides and his bad sides, but, uh, but in the end he goes through a great character growth and a great story arc. The game gives you the ability to move around Paris freely and, and you know, climb up buildings and experience everything, but even though it's kind of got a beautiful fantasy to it, it's really grounded and based in real Paris. It has the monuments, you know, the Eiffel Tower to Notre Dame to all of the great landmarks. The game does such a great job of, of representing this city that um, it, it's just, it's a really great experience to really be here now and see it all in real life and, and just connect it to the, to the game. So the idea was to like, oh, let's make it black and white, pull the player's eyes towards things or make things pop out that we wanted the player to see. And then from there, we learned a lot from watching a lot of film noir. And then also it's definitely the Sin City movie. We learned a lot of tricks to make it look good in 3D space. They realized that they could take a very stylized approach and through a unique color palette could actually give the experience to the player of the oppression, the, the, the tone, the feeling of, you know, being in an occupied state. And, and that is the, the ability for the player to not only uh, experience you know, this black and white world, but through their actions of sabotage and revenge, actually bring color back to the world and inspire the people around them to, to stand up and fight back against this, this horrible occupation. A few of us have played like, the whole game a couple times over. But at the same time, like some people have only gotten to play like the missions they work on because that's all they had time to do. But now that they have time to play it, and they're coming into my office and be like, "We made a really cool game." Like, like I didn't see how much cool stuff we had in this game, and just seeing all these pieces of the, you know, have come together of all the different mechanics, the economy, the world, the story, the graphics, the everything. It's it's amazing, and I, it to me, it's the thing I'm most proud of that I've worked on. It's an ovni in the universe of jeux video. Euh, par son aspect esthétique, on en a parlé, euh, c est, c est, ces mouvements de couleurs, c est, c est, ce choix artistique, la musique, les environnements de Paris, euh, il a une approche, voilà, je répète le mot, mais artistique, nouvelle, qu'on retrouve très rarement dans les jeux vidéo, euh, et assez mature, et qui moi me touche personnellement.